Find the exact measures of the perimeter and area in simplest form for the rectangle at the right. So rectangle, it's not on the right. What is the length of the rectangle? 4 radical 7 <coughs> minus 2 radical 2. 12, sorry. And the width is radical 3. It's asking to find the perimeter, right? All know the formula for perimeter of a rectangle, which is twice the length plus the width. All you need to know. Right? So substitute the values. Perimeter equals 2 times 4 radical 7 plus 2 radical 12 times radical 3. Oh, sorry, minus. Right? Where's plus? It's plus right plus width. Jeez, now we, our recording is now messed up. Plus radical 3. Here we go. Okay, let's simplify radical 12. Radical 12 and step down is 2, 6, 2, 3. Okay, I'm doing this to you every single step, but you need to know that radical 12 will always be 2 radical 3. Okay, I'm just showing this to you because you're not proficient yet. But soon enough, you need to know that's 2 radical 3. So you have now 2 times uh, 4 radical 7 minus 2 times 2 radical 3 plus radical 3. We're doing this step by step. This becomes 2, 4 radical 7 minus 4 radical 3 plus radical 3. This becomes 2. 4 radical 7 minus 3 radical 3. Multiply that by 2. It's going to be 8 radical 7 minus 6 radical 3. Now, just like variables, you do not multiply the 2 with radical 7. You just simply multiply it with its coefficient, which is 4 and negative 3, respectively. Okay. Now that's perimeter. Right? Area is what? Area is simply length times width. Right? So it's four radical seven minus two radical twelve times radical three. Right? Which is uh four radical twenty one minus 2 radical 36. Again, we do the step down of radical 30 of 36. 2, 18, 2, 9, 3, 3. Of course, we all know that square root of 36 is 6. So 4 radical 21 minus 2 times 6. Or simply, 4 radical 21 minus 12. Stop recording.